Hey guys, some people have been asking me uh, what my gaming setup looks like and whatnot, and they just want to see where all of the YouTube magic happens and everything. So I figured, yeah, I'll show you guys uh, my gaming setup and where all the YouTube magic happens and all my awesome techie equipment and whatnot. So let's go ahead and uh, get started because there's a lot of, you know, junk to show in here. Anyway, uh, zoom in over to the door. We got Assassin's Creed Revelations poster uh, right there. So that's my sexy, sexy door. Isn't it so sexy? Sexy door. Anyway, um, and right next to that is the... This came with like the uh, the Halo 4 pre-order. This is like the, the Spartan Gabriel Thorn layout thing. Uh, it tells you like what stuff is on the armor, what it's made of, and different specs on it, blah blah blah. There's all the different helmets. So anyway, next to that we got Assassin's Creed 4 Black Flag. And you know, it's showing, uh, showing Edward kicking some ass there. It almost looks like Blackbeard. Yeah, that kind of looks like Blackbeard. Anyways, uh, so there's my closet. I'll show you that in a second here. Uh, down here, there's some random, like, Game Informer magazines. I don't know, sometimes I get bored and want to read stuff, so some random magazines there. And my KO box, which uh, does not work. Yay! Need to get rid of that. Uh, this is very useful. I definitely recommend you guys buy this for sure. Um, it's basically a battery pack charger. What this does is when you're low on batteries, just uh, plug a couple of these in here and it charges them up for you and you can reuse them. Definitely recommend it, especially if you're using like a wireless headset. Which uh, I'll show you as well. If you're using like a wireless headset and you don't want to have to keep rebuying batteries, you can just get this and that's all you need. So, yeah, there's your solution there. Um, not really much to show in my closet, but uh, why not? We'll take a look. And look, it's a jungle of cords! Huzzah! And some random headsets I don't use anymore. Those are really old. And that's an old monitor I don't use anymore either. Some random uh, movies, DVDs, and shit, and blah blah blah. And that's my old desktop. You probably can't see that because the lighting on this thing sucks. But yeah, that's my old desktop I don't use anymore, pretty much. So not much to show in there. Close that bitch. And over here we got the rock band equipment. You know, the drums and guitar and stuff. I mainly use this when friends come over because a lot of my friends that live like five minutes from me, love playing on this thing. They're just like, yeah, rock band, let's do some rock band tonight, yeah. So, whatever. And uh, this has to be the most comfortable chair in the world. I have been seriously, a lot of people have been asking, well, a lot of my friends anyway that have seen this room are like, dude, why don't you get like, like one of those nice, comfy, black leather chairs? Reason because this thing is ridiculously comfortable. You sit in this and it like hugs you and it's so comfy. I'm not gonna lie, I've taken naps in this thing. And I have tried out a lot of gaming chairs and whatnot where you can store controllers on and the recliners, yada yada yada. This is a recliner too, but where you can, you know, store like some drinks and stuff or whatever it is, but there's no way in hell I'm getting rid of this thing because, you know, if you're doing a game playthroughs for hours upon hours, you gotta be comfortable, you gotta have something that'll really, you know, make you wanna stay there for a while, and this thing is perfect, so there's no way I'm getting rid of this, this chair is fucking awesome, enough said. Um, back here behind it, that's like my window, and I cover it up with this quilt thing, because I hate the glare, and because if you look at this, where the window is, and then right over is where my TV is, so, can you see the problem there? So if I lift this open, then the sun would just come in and go whoosh onto the TV. So that's a giant ass sun glare. I don't want that. So I do this and cover the window up with a black quilt. It makes the room nice and dark. For example, turn off the light here. And you can't really see shit, can you? Except, you know, my screens that are on and whatnot. So let's turn this back on. Okay, so there's that um, fancy furniture show off. Or whatever. Anyways, uh, what what next? What next? Let's just go like one corner each time. By the way, that's uh, Pirates of the Caribbean, Jack Sparrow, and Will. I don't know why. I really like Pirates of the Caribbean, and they're just random ass posters. So 
leave them up. I had a lot more posters like around this wall and whatnot, but oh, they're such a pain in the ass to stay up. I don't know why. I need to get like some those pin things where you can just poke them through the wall and they hold them up. Because believe it or not, I am using tape. Well, tape on a couple of them, but I only have so many of those little uh, those little needles. But I need to get more of those because I'm sick and tired of them falling off. So that's why a lot of the walls are blank right now. But believe it or not, when this place is filled up, I had a bunch of posters. And a lot of them are still in that closet, which I don't feel like putting up right now. So moving on uh, over to this corner here. Uh, here's some games. This is only a few of them. Yeah, I know you, you guys probably like, really? Only a few of them? Psh. So that's just some random Xbox games and PS3 and... Yeah, pretty much it. So, uh, moving over here, a bunch of random shit, like cord converters and blank CDs, tripod, random, random abundance of cords. So, awesome clusterfuck of cords over here. Uh, yeah, USB, this is a bunch of random stuff. An old mouse I don't use, but, well, some of it's useful, some of it I might use, but most of these cords I'm really not going to use. Uh, and this drawer is like, you know, more of the, probably can't see much in there, but it's like the Halo 4, well, it's basically like the limited edition stuff where, you know, they're coming like those big giant boxes. It's like the Halo 4 and uh, like the Mass Effect trilogy. So this is where I keep a lot of those, like the, the limited editions that, are, that come in those big ass boxes. I keep in this drawer. In this drawer are some, look at that. Oh, Dragon Ball Z, of course. Yu Yu show back there, so I got a lot of a lot of anime stuff in here. Yeah, Dragon Ball Z is the shit. And moving right over here, some random stuff. This is a new controller I literally just got the day before I'm recording this. One of my YouTube subscribers actually made this controller for me, and it is very, very sick. Don't know if you can really see that, but this is like see-through. Yeah, you can. It's it's clear. You can see through it. Looks very nice. The D-pad is a lot better too than the standard 360 controllers you get. These joysticks are pretty cool. And um, this looks blue on the video, but this is actually white LED. I hope it looks white in the video, but whatever. This is actually a white LED and the chrome buttons and stuff, and the nice and shiny triggers and stuff. It's wireless, but I'm charging it up right now. And uh, he also gave me one of the uh, the matching uh, battery pack, but I'm using this charge kit to uh, charge the controller because I hate, like I said, you know, playing on batteries and stuff like that. So yeah, my phone and a uh, purple flash drive. So down here are some random, more random stuff. Uh, pretty much don't ever use this anymore. I know a lot of you already know what this is, the messenger kit. We never use that. Um, so random controller down there and some random battery packs and stuff and a very old, very old uh, camera I don't use anymore. So over here a lot of shit to uh, explain. So comfy chair. Let's move this out of the way. You guys are probably going to see a clusterfuck of cords again. And I literally just unplugged something. What did I unplug? I don't know. I just unplugged. Hold on. Hold on. Okay. So there is pretty much where all of my consoles uh, reside in. So let's show off. This is my very sexy of a beast PC desktop. Uh, this bad boy, it's got right now 12 the RAM, 2 terabyte hard drive, and I don't know what kind of graphics card it has, but I know it's pretty good because I have one of my friends who's a PC nerd install a lot of it. So, I couldn't really tell you all the specs on it, I can only tell you the basics, but I can tell you that this is a beast of a desktop, a lot better than that piece of shit that I have in my closet, that's for sure. So, uh, this is like a controller I want to use if I'm playing PC games, that's a really old iPod I don't use anymore, that's for internet. And, yeah, a lot of fucking cords over here. One of my many USB hubs, it has a lot of shit plugged into it, and multiple outlet plugger here. And so, here's, of course, my 360, and yes, I'm still using one of the uh, the classic ones. This is only the second one I had. The first one I have um, just randomly stopped working for some reason, so I sent it off to Microsoft, 
and they sent me back a new one and I've been just been using this ever since. I don't really need to get a new one when this one works just fine. I could get one of those new models that are black and slim and whatnot and not as loud but I don't really feel like spending money so I'm gonna hang on to this guy because it works just fine and uh, he's easy to use so. Uh, there is my uh, Hapagi HD PBR for my 360 and for my PS3 and then here's what I got that's uh, pretty much brand new for me it's the Hapagi HD PBR Gaming Edition uh, 2 uh, Gaming Edition Plus and I use this for my PS4 and here is my super awesome uh, Turtle Beaches PX5 right here um, currently on the receiver right there and behind that's pretty much a shit ton of cores but yeah that's pretty much uh, pretty much it so 360 PS3 PS4 below it all of this here I'm probably gonna put my Xbox one down there because I know that thing's gonna be a fucking monster so I'm probably just gonna put it down there below these and uh, that'll be pretty much it so and there's my desktop with the dual monitors and some random games I don't know why it is right here the Last of Us, which is amazing, and yada yada. So over here, random controllers and shit. And there's my PSP. Um, I do have a PS Vita. One of my friends is borrowing it though, because he really wants to try it out. So I'm going to borrow it for a little bit. So uh, let's see. Let's just show you. PS3 controller, which is... Uh, oh yeah, the PS3, I forgot, has to be on. For this thing to charge, that's a pain in the ass, but whatever. PS4 controller, PS3, PS4. So that looks pretty cool how they're, you know, right next to each other and whatnot. You can kind of see the difference. Yeah, pretty awesome. And then you guys probably know it. Remember this? This is the modded controller from uh, Gaming Mods that I got. Don't really use it anymore because, as you can see, it's kind of banged up, especially. This thumbstick is pretty much chipped away, so there's no way I can use this. But it's nice to, you know, show off. It just looks pretty cool, too. So then we got another PS3, another 360 controller. And then we got my, uh, I forget how many inches this screen is. It's like, let me think. Uh, I think it's like 52, 50 some, mid 50s, I think, mid 50 inches. But yeah, it's it's really a big screen. If I go all the way back here, you can really see how how large it is, comparing to the controller and then the TV. Hope that's a good comparison for you guys to see how just how big it is. And then these drawers, we got some more games and more cords down here. Uh, more cords. This is like my 360 webcam, PS3 webcam, and shit. That's pretty much it. Um. I do want to add like a couple things to this room, but I'm not sure what exactly. I was thinking about getting like a mini fridge and putting it over here somewhere, but believe it or not, I went through like four or five of those. I don't know why, but they all really broke down really fast, and they're just really cheap. I don't really see the point of them. But if you guys recommend any like mini fridges I can get in, that'd be great, because I think I'm trying to get a, considering getting one of those. You know, considering when you're doing like a really long playthrough and you want like a, to grab a quick snack or a drink and you can just waltz right over and get one over here and continue playing. But I've gone through like four or five of those and they just fucking sucked. So that's pretty much, uh, well, I just not want to hear right now, but if you guys know if, uh, any, know of any, uh, good mini fridges or whatever I can get, then go ahead and let me know. That'd be awesome. Um, but I may, may or may not put one in here, because, you know, I already have a fridge in my kitchen, so, whatever. Uh, I'm not really sure what else to add, of course, the Xbox One's gonna be down there, and that'll be pretty much it. And, uh, that's pretty much my gaming, uh, gaming room here, gaming setup. Hope you all liked it, uh, if you have any other further suggestions on what I should add to this room and whatnot, there's already a crap of stuff in here. And uh, yeah, just leave a comment below and let me go. Let me know what you guys think and see. Uh, let me know what else you think you, that I should probably. I cannot fucking talk today. It's been a long day. I've been I've been at work pretty much all day and whatever. But if you guys can think of anything that uh, you want me to add, go ahead and let me know. And uh, that's pretty much it. Till then, guys. As Thor would say, be sure to subscribe. <laughs>